Man, uh, I don't know about you, Michael. I've been spending a bunch of time today watching and trying to process uh, these Senate hearings into the FBI mishandling of the Larry Nassar uh, abuse of over 150, I believe is the number, uh, United States gymnasts. Um, but I don't want to start there, man. It, it's been an emotional day, All right. emotional testimony. Yeah. I don't want to start there. I need, I need to be uplifted. I need to be uplifted, okay? So I need for you, Michael, to tell me mm -hmm. about the special day in the Holly household. I want to know how Princess ah. Ava woke up this morning. <laughs> I want to know. I, I, I need to hear... <laughs> I need to hear a different type of testimonial. Uh, I need to hear about how Ava completed the Holly family uh, as she turns nine years old today. So the floor is yours, my friend. Like, warm our hearts, please. We, we need it on a day like today. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hear what you I hear what you're saying. We absolutely do. And Mike, I just can't believe it. <laughs> it's not like she's 19 or 29. She's nine years old. But uh, I'm going to show you some pictures in a second. And one of my favorite pictures uh, uh, was of us walk, just simply walking down the street. Uh, she was four years old, and she liked to hang uh, after preschool. So I remember that like yesterday. It wasn't yesterday. It was five years ago. It's gone very quickly. And so now she's nine. But I just think about it. You said it, Mike. Completing the Holly family. She absolutely did complete the Holly family. And when you say that to the kids... I don't know if you were like this as a kid. I certainly was. I was convinced that there was a favorite child. You try to tell your kids, no, 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 no. There's no favorite. I love you all the same. They're like, oh, well, yeah, but you let him do this. You let her do that. Uh, why couldn't I do that? I was the same way. As a matter of fact, I remember telling my mother, say, mom, in a moment of confidence, I said, mom, just between us, you can tell me. I ain't gonna hold it against you. I'm not really. I'm, I'm like, you, you pick me up from somewhere. I'm not really your child. I mean, I'm not really your child. I know <laughs> I'm not the favorite. You say I'm the youngest, but come on, come on. You can tell me the truth. And what I'm getting at is it's just this, for lack of a better word, it's a puzzle. It's this puzzle. It's this family portrait that comes together and you don't really understand what it means until it's complete. So, and there's that first picture right there. Look at it, just walking down the street, hmm. four years old, me and my daughter, man, I was the happiest one in the world, I was the happiest person in the world, and I think she was too at that moment. It was just a, a great moment for us. Uh, and this is, uh, this is like a couple weeks ago, just, uh, hey daddy, let's take a selfie. So we took a selfie there, hmm. and she's a woman of God, she's a young woman of God, so this is her uh, in church praying after her, I believe her first communion. Uh, anyway, man, I, when I just think about the family, you know, when Robinson, Robinson came first, and I just remember, I, I have a moment with each of them. So when Robinson came first, the first time I held him, looked at him, I said, okay, I'm grown up now. <laughs> I'm grown up. Everything I've done in the past, anything I've done, positive or negative, is used to encourage and guide this young man. Lord, give me wisdom, give me strength. Uh, give me understanding to deal with this. So that was my moment with Robinson. My moment with Beckham actually involved Robinson because when Robinson met Beckham for the first time and I'm holding Beckham and I'm saying, hey, this is your brother. He had so much love for Beckham. He said, give him to mommy. Give him to mommy because I'm not sure that you, I don't know if I trust you holding him. Give him to mommy. <laughs> so like, Robinson needed Beckham and Beckham and Robinson needed Ava. And so when Ava, Ava came, it was just now we could understand what this whole family was and just their personalities complement each other. They're very close. They have their own club. Uh, their club is called bar. It's an acronym for their names. Uh, they have a president of bar. That would be Beckham. He made himself, uh, president, but Ava is the conscience of Barr. She is the, the, the front-facing person of Barr who just keeps it all together. They, a lot of them, they, they kind of work behind the scenes, but 
she's the person who just has that uh, that element that brings it all together. And I've told you the story before, but it it it, it, it couldn't be truer. It couldn't be truer today. I didn't even know what I was saying at the time. When Ava was born, they were all born on Saturday. All three of the kids, born on Saturday. Boys were born on Saturday mornings, wee hours of Saturday morning. Ava was born at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. So it was a normal day. You know what it's like, Mike? When, when the kids are born at like 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, you're not even sure what day it is. You don't remember when you came into the hospital. Everything kind of runs together. There are doctors and nurses coming in. You're tired. You're just just loopy. But not on that day. That day was so calm and so vivid, even from the moment when Oni said, let's go to the hospital. I think this is the day. It was just so light. It was just so normal. It was just so joyful. Hmm. And after I left the hospital, I went to get us something to eat. You know the area, right around Fenway Park, hospital right around Fenway. I'm going to get something to eat, and I'm just feeling different. And I called my mother, and she said, well, tell me about, you know, tell me about the baby, like, what's she like, who's she like, you know, what I said, Mom, all I can tell you is that she's perfect. It's just perfect. It's just huh. perfect for our family. We all have flaws. Everybody has flaws. Everybody has their thing. But just for the Hollies, Ava Holly coming in there uh, just completed the circle. And her, one of her nicknames is Little Oni. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if you've experienced this. Uh, when Oni is not there to kind of tell me what I should be doing or how she feels about a situation, when Oni's not there for that, Ava is there doing the same thing. And I just always say, like, how did you get like this? Like, how do you know this? How do you know to say this? Where does this swagger come from? Where does this confidence come from? So hey, that's it. I mean, that's really the feeling of just knowing that the family, uh, the family has not been the same since uh, September 15th, 2012. And I just know that I see her. I see her from the big picture and what she means to our family. But I'm one of those fellas, and I don't, I'm not ashamed to admit this. I am one of those fellas who maybe needed to learn the hard way. Like, we hear it now. We hear men who say, hey, if you had a daughter, you'd look at it that way. And then I, I hear a lot of sisters say, but wh why does it take having a daughter for you to see it? Guilty, me. I needed to have a daughter to become a better man. I did. And I am now. Yeah. I am now in that moment. There's a there's a there's a clear separation. Yeah, I was all right. I was all right before I mean, I, September 15th, even, 2012. Even if, but I'm better now. Even if you didn't need a daughter, women make us better men, period. It's no different than right. finding favor when you find a wife. Even if you had it all figured out, there was more that you had to learn or more that you had to see that you wouldn't have seen otherwise. Um, so I don't I don't remember. I honestly I can I can barely it's all a fog. I can barely remember what life was like pre Maya, who was born a little more than a month before Ava. I, I joke all the time. You went on this, you know, 90s Cowboys run because I had two. And then you went and had two and then one right after my third. It was like you just like caught up real quick. You know, <laughs> you know like like your oldest two are both younger than my oldest two. <laughs> and your third is like a month or so younger than mine. Maya just turned nine uh, on July 31st. Um, that, that thing you said about about the uh, the favorite kid. I think what it is, man, especially when it comes to the baby or baby girls. Like I, obviously you go boy, right. boy, girl. I go girl, boy, girl. It's just it's not our fault. It's that we get better at it, parenting by the time we get to the third one. You know, we mellow out a little bit. Stuff doesn't stress us out as much. Yeah. We've been there, done that, got the T-shirt. We know how to react. We, the game has slowed down for us. So it's like, if that was me, you're right. Maybe I shouldn't have done it that way with you. I figured out how to handle right. it. I, I figured out how to, like, right. you know, 
pace myself. I'm picking my battles. This is a hill I'm not dying on. You know, like I'm, I'm different now. I have mellowed out. So the baby is the beneficiary right. of experience more than anything. On the flip side, there's a lot of resentment in my house toward me and toward Maya because she's yet to hear me tell her no. So I don't know, uh, you know, you mentioned she's a mini Oni and she's the boss when Oni ain't around. Like, or, I, I or imagine that an older brother baby her and protect her. Or sometimes when she is there, right. With that right, too. Right. But, it, but do you just like, do you spoil her so much until your wife gets envious? Because that's how it is with me and Maya. Like, I have to like almost be like, hey, there's enough for me to go around you too. Like, no need to fight over me, ladies, because it's like, so Maya at nine, I, you know, she still likes to crawl into bed with us at night, some nights. Sarah can't stand it, never could. I'm like, hey, they're only this age once. As long as they ain't interrupting, yeah. As long as we ain't doing nothing, if, you know, or if, if you know, well, maybe I'll pick her up and put her in her room, and we'll get to it later. You know, it's not like you know, it's okay. She's not intruding right now. It's okay. You know, right, like right. just let her fall asleep, and then I'll move her into her bedroom. You know, and then we could, you know, have our time. You know. Um, by then she's falling asleep anyway, so it's been ruined. But point being is like I just can never tell a child no. So and she knows the perfect voice. So does Ava have that hold on you as well, where she just can manipulate you like nobody else, including your wife. Let me tell you something. It's even it's even better or worse, depending on your interpretation. This is what it's like. The boys, you know, like you know, pa- kids sometimes play parents off of one another. Hey, mom's gonna say no to this, so I'm gonna ask dad. I'm just gonna very slyly ask dad if I can do it. And you're like, oh yeah, cool. Knowing that mom doesn't know anything about it, and okay, here we go. No, 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 no. The boys understand that Ava sometimes gets special treatment. So the boys will ask Ava to ask us stuff. (laughs) Knowing that maybe they won't get a yes. Oh yeah. But if they send Oh yeah. If they send Ava now, oh yeah, Ava. Hey send Ava, can we do weapon. this? Can we do oh, that? Of course. Ava, ask oh, this, ask yeah. for this for dinner. Hey, let's say yes. uh, Ava, say you want to take a but, road but trip. I can here, see through it though. And they're giving her very yeah, they're giving I can see very through specific. It I'm like, you don't really want that. <laughs> right. Like you don't you <laughs> right. wait, that's not that doesn't sound like something you would ask for. Like, who sent you in here? Did Savannah send you in here? So I asked you over text earlier. Hey. I said to you. I imagine that you're you're feeling a a combination of thankfulness uh, and gratitude and sadness. How how much of it? Because I know every time I look at my kids, I get I'm happy and I'm sad. Sad because time is is slipping away. Because as they say, the days are are long, but the years are short. Um, You know, Mason just came home from school. Mason, damn it, looking me in my eye. Savannah is looking me in my eye, and it is really hard to chastise and lecture. A young woman who's looking you in the eye. Let me take it from me. Oh, and brother, wait till wait till you're having conversations about what about what they're wearing and where they're going. So I still right. ain't seen you like Shang Chi yet. You you leave it. You know you, you know leave what? in the house. You leave. In the, you like, you leave you, in the you house look, like, like that. that? Yeah right. I, I mean I just I, we had I had to have the dress for the job you want, not the one you have. Conversation with Savannah the other day because she walked out going to her first day of school at a rather expensive school, I might add looking like she going to the club. I'm like, look, I don't I'm not going to I I am as progressive and as liberal as a parent can be, especially coming from the age that I came from. Okay, and and the household I came up with. So you get away with a lot that you know, old school people would not let you. I'm not telling you what you cannot wear, but you ain't wearing at school, right? I'm like, you ain't wearing at school. You like that's not what you wearing to that school. But that's so but it was the other night. It was so funny. Uh, She went to to see Shang Chi with her friends. I'm dropping off at the movies, bro. That's what I'm saying. Hold tight to Ava. Hold tight to all these children because again, I'm going through stuff that you haven't gone through yet. I got 15, 13. You got 12, 11, 9, correct? Is that right? Well, well, uh, officially, officially 12, it, almost 13. Officially. Almost 13, almost 11. Almost, yeah. Almost, uh, and, and 9. 13, 11, 9. Pretty yeah. much. So, I mean, all right. So, but it's like the, the stuff that I'm dealing with, you, you ain't got it yet. Like, so hey, can I go to see Shang Chi with my friends? Like, yeah, you can go see Shang Chi with your friends. Hey, I want to see Shang Chi. How about I go and I just sit in the theater, like you know, like in the back 
or I'll even go to another screen and and then so that way since I got to come pick you up anyway like I'm already there. No dad, you're embarrassing I'll be me. right there. Like how am I embarrassing you? Like are you, I'm not going to say anything right. to him. Any, can I say hi? Like no, you're going to embarrass. Me. I'm like, so wait a minute. Do you want people to think you don't have parents that you just got here immaculately? <laughs> like you have parents and I'm dropping you off. Like why can't I go to the why why I can't go to the movies. It's a public place, but everything is embarrassing. Right, right. Everything is embarrassing. You can't speak to him in public. The nine year old and the reason why I'm I'm so close to her is because she's the only one that don't we let me get close. Right the other ones don't want nothing to do with me no more. I can't go to no games. Might be there. I can't. They, they want me to yeah, drop yeah. them off at the corner so they can walk down the street as if they got there on their own. I can't look at it's just I, I got they got boundaries. I'm having conversations about what we, I can we, and can't do with my children. I'm like, do you know hey, now we, that not that long ago, man, I'd have smacked the piss out you, but I guess it's 2021, so I gotta refrain. From, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, this is Ava's day. I'm sorry. I, I've been. I've been meaning to let that out. It's for a timeout. A Go, get, <laughs> no, no, it's good. Hey, <laughs> take, take, it's take, a timeout take generation. The take the floor back. It's a timeout generation. You can't. You can't say that anymore. You know, like they don't know. They don't know what what we went through, and what we went through was probably crazy too. Not probably was crazy. You know. Anytime somebody says to you, go get the, you know, fill in the blank, like, oh, cool, here we go. <laughs> go get the switch, <laughs> go get the belt, go like, or they don't right. say anything. They just kind of sneak you. So that ain't right either. Yeah. Uh, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere there's balance, somewhere there's moderation. As you say, everything in moderation, even. Including moderation. Yeah. Including moderation. But I would say this. We're not there with the nine year old. Who's who is embarrassed? Not not embarrassed by dad yet, but I gotta tell you, that seventh grader. I don't think I'm embarrassed. Man, we went to orientation. We went to orientation, and so I'm trying to, you know, give him some last minute instructions before he goes into the school. All the kids. I knew it was a little controversial. My move, you know, right before uh, the kids, right before the kids went into the school. They're all lined up there. Can you still hear me? By the way, I froze there for a second. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that first. Yeah, okay. I had all the right. same freeze yeah. just now. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah, good. So kids, uh, kids are lined up outside the school, seventh grade. I knew. All right. Maybe he might think it's a little strange. But I just wanted to go over, give him one more word of encouragement, and hey, it's all right. You know, you ain't supposed to know everything yeah. at the first day of seventh grade. I'm, and I get this uh, little, this looking straight ahead, like, okay. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah. Like, yeah. Keep it moving. Get, yeah. Uh, Keep it moving. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. No, no, don't, don't talk to me. But the nine year old, sadness, it's not sadness, but you know what I find myself doing? As she, as she mm. went from, I remember day one to the first birthday party, which you and, uh, and Sarah were at, the first birthday party slash uh, dedication. I remember that like yeah. yesterday. And, then that picture when she was four and then a bouncy house in the backyard, all these things. I don't find myself sad that those days are going away. I just find myself looking at a lot of pictures. Like if I have mm -hmm. 10 minutes, nothing to do, I'll just go back and look at some pictures from like two or three years ago yeah. and just smile. Because as you said, Mike, these, these moments are fleeting and we should enjoy, we should enjoy it. I you all out there enjoy. Enjoy every moment, and, I, and I'll tell you what I even do when it comes to uh, when it comes to like that coming in and coming into our bedroom. She doesn't do it too often, but every now yeah. and then, I hear hear a knock at the door, and she inside the door. I, on my side of the bed is by the door, so I hear it first. Yep. Hear the door as it should be. Yes, Ava, Daddy, I had a nightmare, and I'm looking. I'm groggy. Mm -hmm. And she's just looking at me like, okay, so go ahead and say it. I'm like, yeah, you have a nightmare? Hey, you know, you want daddy to walk you back to your room? No, no, I'm going to sleep with you guys. I said, okay, come on in. And walk it's a beautiful back. thing. It, it's a beautiful yeah. thing in that moment. But let me tell you, yeah. she is the worst to sleep with, okay? She kicks. <laughs> Arms, she kicks, right? Elbows. Hey. Oh, shout out. Shout out to Aaron oh. Rodgers. See Aaron Rodgers as far as we know ain't got no kids. See the rest of us used to get kicked in the nuts all the time. Happens every night. You know, <laughs> it's like it, it, it happens all the time. You know, like I'm totally it's and then I and then she takes me. I got to go. I sleep in her room probably like half the time. I, was, I sleep in my bedroom half the time and her room another half of the time. But it's like, I'm sorry. I am not 
going to waste those moments because I got a 15 year old who I can't sleep with who barely wants me anywhere near her. Okay, who acts like she lives in an apartment. I'm like, you paying rent this month? You know what I'm saying? Like, but she acts like she acts like her room is an apartment in my house. Okay. Last right. night, Mason is like, you know, why are you looking at my phone? I'm like, your phone? Like, you pay for this month? Like, like, what, what, listen, I, 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 I see no right. phone bill in your name. Like, what I, get, what, right. what I miss? Hey, listen, listen, that's part of the agreement. I can take the phone at any time I, yes. and look at it. Don't be, hey, it, we, we have it. Don't, don't delete. I'm just, I'm loaning no, you No, no deleting. Yeah, that's right. I'm like, I'm like, you don't own what? anything. I'm loaning you everything you have. But, but I'm saying, like, you talk about looking at pictures. I know we got to go to break, so you can roll the music, Gary. Um, I, I look at, I, t- I just look at moments. Like, if, if, if Maya is on the swings in the backyard, I'll just stop. I'll make it a point just to stop and just, like, stop what I'm doing and just look. Yeah. Because I'm like, like, look how tall, look how grown. It's speaking different, especially at nine. They start speaking different. And I'm just like trying to make sure I burn that image. Same as they told us when our wives are walking down the aisle, like burn that image in your head. It's like I try to burn these images in my head of all of my kids. Like, yo, like dude, dude's 13, you know, talking to him about girls and whatnot. This, she 15, got a social Saturday night, by the way. A social Saturday night, dog. Savannah. Oh, really? Like her school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So- I'm a, so look, look, look Re, Reggie had better not come to my front door. Re, Reggie hey, had better not come to my hey. front door because I'm going to need you to come and we're going to have to do the Mike Lowry, Marcus Burnett. You look 30, you know, that's a, that type of thing. Maybe what we do, we have, we, have, we have to do one of those. Maybe what we do, how about I come down? This is on this weekend? This is on Saturday? Yeah. Maybe I come down on Saturday. Come down on Saturday. And we just happen to take a ride together same time as a social and we hey, who knows we may wind up no, there. You're, oh, you're what are we doing me. here? You're, 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 what are we doing? You're embarrassing here? me Dad. You're embarrassing. Me. We just I, happen to be in the neighborhood. You, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uncle Ava. Michael's here. God bless your princess. Congratulations to the Hollies. Um, we'll talk about uh, current events and culture and sports and whatnot as usual, but I, I needed to I needed to talk about Ava man because a lot of people's daughters are Still suffering as we talked about with this Larry Nassar thing. We'll get to that later on, but she is so pretty. Yeah. And she's growing up so fast, man. Definitely look she looked like a mama. She got a little bit of you in it, but she's she like little a Oni. Alright, we'll be back. Little Oni. Hey, thanks for watching Brother From Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.